slash decorate with me. So I am so excited for this particular video because we are going to clean and get this room ready for a little Felicity. I am completely in nesting mode and right now I am 23 weeks and I have 16 more to go since I will be having a c-section. And so here is the 23 week bump which is getting bigger as the days go by. We are so excited for little Felicity and we just need to get her area ready. So we currently have a two bedroom apartment and we're just gonna have to make it work. So she is gonna be sharing a bedroom with us in her first year of life. And so we are gonna figure out where her corner is. Still haven't decided where it's gonna be, but we will figure out where her corner will be. We will get her area set up and ready to go. And I'm gonna take you along the whole process. Welcome back, and if this is your first time watching, hello, my name is Virginia, and I am a working mom that's simply trying to juggle life. I have a three-year-old little girl, a four-year-old boy, and I have a baby on the way, which, as you all know, this is what this whole video is about, little Felicity. I am also a wife. I work full-time in a nonprofit organization, and I also do all the extracurricular activities for my kids, so I am very busy like most of you. And so I like to create these videos. I hope that you get some inspiration, some ideas, or just so that we can be here to support each other. What I love more than a deep cleaning is decorating and organizing a new area. And so I'm so excited to finally get to do Little Felicity's area. But first, I'm going to go ahead and do the difficult part, which is the deep cleaning. And as you all know, I'm very pregnant, so it's a little harder carrying a little a little watermelon around, it feels like. But here I am. I'm going to start off by dusting the dresser. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this dresser, but first I'm going to remove the drawers just so it's lighter and easier to move. There's actually a big gap in the back of the dresser because it just does not fit correctly. And so every time we place something, it just falls on the back and this is the result of it. A big pile of a mix of trash items that just got collected over time. And this is so embarrassing, but this is what happens when you have kids and you just uh, neglect the back of the dresser that has a big gap. So I am definitely moving this dresser. It's not going to go here so that we can avoid this future problem, which might have Felicity's Corner be here. Not quite sure, but we are going to get this cleaned up. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove my favorite mirror that I just purchased so recently. But that's okay. The sacrifices we make for our children. I'm sure I will find a new home for it. But for now, I will go ahead and remove it, put it away, and give these walls a nice scrub. Which as you can see, Lucecita and Ignatius were so eager to help me with. And of course, I allowed them. I want them to be part of this entire process and make it more real that their little sister is coming soon. Next I'm going to go ahead and remove 
all the items that will no longer go back into this room. So I'm removing this card, this little art card, and also one of the bookshelves. I think I'm going to place the bookshelf in the living room. The little art cart will probably go in my closet once I clean that up. And then the little teal cart is going to go to my work, which I'm going to use as a little art station for our participants. I still can't believe how much actually accumulates behind furniture. This is a little ridiculous, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sweep it up and then I am going to go ahead and give the walls and the baseboards a really good scrub. I don't know when was the last time I actually cleaned them since these big furniture pieces were always blocking it. Uh, but now that I'm actually cleaning this area, I think this is going to be Felicity's Corner. It's big enough and uh, her items will fit. So I'm going to go ahead and move this bookshelf and hopefully it fits right next to the bed where the dresser was. Now that I have a little clean slate, I'm going to go ahead and play around with the furniture pieces to see where everything's going to go. And next, I'm going to go ahead and put a little Felicity's Cradle together, which this piece has so much meaning because it is the first item that was purchased for Little Felicity. Um, my best friend gifted me a certain amount of money and she told me go ahead and use it in any way you need. So I went ahead and purchased this little cradle on Facebook Market. I purchased a mattress and new crib bedding for her. And so she's really ready to go in her little sleep area. This cradle was so simple to put together until it came to actually putting the basket in the middle of these little pools. The hooks, I don't think were originally meant for this particular cradle. I think they were just purchased. And so anytime I would try to put the holes that hold together the cradle, the little hooks would just move around. Thank goodness the basket was very lightweight and so I was able to hold it. It was just really bulky and awkward. But anyways, at the end, I managed to put it all together. Yes, I am one of those individuals that likes to move furniture around as many times as I have to in order to find the perfect setup. And this little corner was no exception. Um, but at the end, I settled with the dresser on this wall and the cradle on this area, which is perfect because for my nighttime feedings, I can easily just move the cradle next to my bed and I'll have easier access to her. And during the day, I can just move it back. After all the sweeping and moving around, I gave this dresser another wipe down and I went ahead 
and just put everything back that I already had for Felicity. I, this is not the way I'm going to decorate, but I just wanted to make sure everything had a good home because I am not going to do the actual decorating and setup for her today. When you clean, do you make random piles as you go? I usually like to make piles on the bed, but somehow I made a pile on top of the shelf. So I am going to go ahead and just declutter it and give it a nice wipe and keep the items I'm actually going to keep. Like I said, I still don't know what I'm actually going to use for her area. So I'm just going to leave on the shelf what I think. I might use this shelf is definitely going to be moved I have no clue where but for now I will just keep what I think I'm going to keep on the shelf and worry about moving it later Moving on to the messiest area in this entire room, which is this bookshelf. Somehow there are a lot of little hands that like to take out books from the bookshelf, but then don't put them back correctly. They'll put them back in the bookshelf where it goes, but not how they're supposed to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just organize the books, give it a nice wipe, and then put some of the minimal decor back on top of it. I'm trying to keep things very simple in this room because it's the area where I like to relax and I do not like to see too much decor or too much clutter. To end the cleaning for the day, I'm going to go ahead and give this room a very nice mop, which really needs it after all the dusting and moving around the furniture. There's definitely a lot of dust on this floor, and so I'm going to give it a nice deep mop and then just lay down and enjoy the organization and cleaning that I have done for today. everything extra special and so I'm looking for the just the right items and making the right items for the, her little nursery corner but before we get started this is the bump she is 29 weeks so we are in the third trimester I don't know how much bigger she's getting gonna get uh, the doctor says she's already two times the size of a baby her age so that's a little scary right now, but join me today as I put everything together, uh, which is the exciting part. So here are some items that I have purchased. I got her uh, name, Felicity, engraved in this beautiful wooden 
uh, wooden sign. I love it. I always wanted to get one for Lucecita. Once this room becomes uh, Lucecita's and Felicity's, I will also get a Lucecita one. So I'm really excited. I found this cute little frame on clearance at Michael's and it was only $3 and I want to put her little ultrasound pictures. Then from Amazon, there are two mini crib sheets and it's this beautiful little rose. The rose is, that's the main theme. But there's also these little white ones. So if she has a little accident, I can quickly just change the 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 sheet to this other print and then i found this cute little picture frame at the dollar store which i don't know if i'm going to keep it gray or if i'm going to change it to like a little gold tone I haven't decided if i will be doing some painting on this and then i have some cute little wooden hangers that i found on amazon and I'm going to use it to hang up or display the clothing that has a little sentimental value. And then here I have this cute little kit for her little crib mobile. Hopefully it works out. Um, you'll see me put it together. But again, I found that in Amazon. And then I have this cute little bed um, crib skirt that I'm going to attempt to somehow put on her little crib. Not sure if it'll work out, but there's that. Um, a little basket to put her diapers and just items that I'll need throughout the night. And so I could just grab the basket when I need to go change her and have everything ready to go during those night feedings and diaper changes and then more hangers so that's all that i have actually purchased for her and uh, everything else i either had it or i made it now that i know where the dresser is gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and install the shelf above it I'm going to make my placements for the actual screws and for also the anchors that I will be installing on this wall. I currently do not have a screwdriver so I am going to do this possibly the very incorrect way but hey it works so I guess that's all that matters. I'm going to hammer in my screw, take it out hammer in my drywall anchor protector then I'm going to screw on the actual screw inside of it and repeat it on the other side. Out of the entire project even putting the cradle together, which was very difficult. I have to say this was the most difficult part of the entire thing, putting the shelf up. It was just so big and bulky and doing it by myself was so difficult, but I am so proud of being able to put it up all by myself and actually having it balanced correctly. So it was leveled how it was supposed to be and that was a first for me. Next, I'm going to put this wooden rod across the shelf at the bottom. There's a little loop and I'm just going to put a little mark at the end of it so that I can cut where it needs to be cut. Again, I am doing this very incorrectly. I am using a knife to cut it because I do not have any tools to cut it and this is all I have. So I gain creative <laughs> as you can. And so here it is, I cut it up and I am gluing it with E6000 glue which works amazing for metals and wood. To display the articles of clothing that have special meaning for Felicity, I'm going to go ahead and put them on this hanger and then put the hanger on the rod that I just put off. And this particular little white outfit, 
I purchased at our honeymoon on an antique store and Lucecita wore it and now it's going to be Felicity wearing it. So it has so much meaning and I'm so excited to display it and for Felicity to wear it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put together my organizing basket where I'm going to place diapers and breastfeeding items for the night. And I'm actually not purchasing any of the smaller items yet. I'm waiting till my baby shower, but for now, I'm just going to put the little basket together so that it can get its natural shape since it's been folded and stored in this little shipping bag. Moving on, I am working on the little mobile holder for the DIY mobile that I made for little Felicity. Unfortunately, it did not come with instructions. The good thing is there were only four pieces that I had to figure out how to put together. And that was simple enough to do so on my own. So I put it together and made it fit on the cream. After installing the mobile holder, I went ahead and installed the cute little mobile that I made. And this is actually one of my favorite DIYs that I have ever made. It was so time consuming, but it was completely worth it. My friend lent me her cuddle bug cutter and I cut it out the little roses, which I then put together with hot glue. And I have 50 different shades of 
pinks for the roses on the top and then I have five different uh, shades of white at the bottom and the ones that are pink represent the Hail Marys in a rosary and then the whites represent the Our Father so it has a very special meaning and especially with her middle name being Rose after Saint Rose of Luna. I really want this cradle to have a skirt so I don't know if this is going to work out but I am found these little velcro circles at the Dollar Tree and they happen to be very strong so I am putting them around the entire cradle and what I'm going to do next is attach the skirt and see if it stays. If it stays then it would have worked and if it doesn't well it was just a dollar and we tried it. so. Let's see how it goes. Here is the grand reveal of Little Felicity Rose's nursery corner. Everything came together so nicely. I cannot wait to have my little girl inside that cradle and enjoy her little nursery corner that has been made with so much love. If you liked this video, please press the like button. And if you would like to see more content like this, please press the subscribe button. See you all next time.